Hello everybody, it's me Susan. How's everybody doing? Well, I'm going to make some chicken and dumplings. So I thought I would show you what I'm doing. Here I have my, I don't normally use, um, I've been using like chicken breast, skinless chicken breast and adding a bunch of um, chicken bouillon cubes and chicken broth. Well, this time I decided to add some different flavors, something that I haven't done in a long time, using some chicken thighs. And I already chopped up some onions and I put a little bit of carrot in there. And then I'm going to add some celery salt and not this, I couldn't find my celery salt. Um, I'm going to add some, a little bit of cumin and some celery salt and some bisquick for my biscuit or for my dumplings. So. Just watching Tracy B and that's about it so I'll be back when um, I get farther and get this chicken cooked it's not really boiling I should well it was and I added that stuff so that it stopped boiling and then I just cover it up and let it cook for a little bit and I'll be back okay, so I'm back and I think I'm in frame no we'll see over here a little bit. So I've got my chicken done here and I strained it a little bit and got my juice here. Got my thighs going. I'm not got my thighs going. Thunder thighs. Anyway, I'm a stickler. I hate fat. So what and what I'm doing is just crumbling up some of this chicken to put in the broth that I have over here. That I just added a little bit more water to. And I'm gonna have a lot of chicken, so I think I might save some and make some chicken salad or something. So you just crumble, you know, shred it up some. I had a friend that used to shred it like really fine. Oh, I loved it, it was awesome. But I've come to find out that if I do that now with Dad. Um, he is like, he doesn't think that there's anything in it, so, um, I leave bigger chunks for him, but I prefer it to be, like, really fine, shredded fine. I don't know, I just like it better like that. And, like I say, it's been a long time, I really haven't used, like, skin... I use skinless breast all the time because, and we don't really like, I'm not a real big fan of dark meat. I don't know. I, it's okay, but it just seems to have a lot more fat on it, and I do not like any kind of fat. Well, I don't know, really. I got some on my body big time. I'm going to go to the gym tonight and see if I can do a little bit longer stuff work out a little bit more. This is really good for a diet, isn't it? Hmm. Chicken and dumplings. Okay. All right, let me wash my hands off here. My kitchen's kind of a mess. I've been doing laundry today, and Dad's outside working, and I ran the sweeper, and been watching videos. So let me see if I can turn this around. All right, there we go. Sorry for the adjustment and readjustment. So I've got my broth here, which I guess I really shouldn't turn it up because I still have to make my um, still have to make my dumpling mix. So let me pause you for a moment, and I'll be back. Okay. So I thought, well, I guess I better show you how I do my dumplings, which I don't really measure. So I just like, um, we never ever have enough dumplings. We always end up running out. There's always more juice. Well, some people, I have a friend that uses canned biscuits. Just take that out of the box. Um, she uses canned biscuits for her dumplings. I don't like that. 
my mom always, I like fluffy dumplings. Grab some milk. And pork. We need to do some dishes. We need to run the dishwasher. So I'm just going to put some milk in there. Stir this up. Try to stay in frame. Whoops, and not slop it all over. I haven't made these in a while. My grandson, William, who's sick right now, his pleurisy. And he's the 15-year-old, and that's probably too much milk because I was talking and not paying attention. Um, he's the 15-year-old, and he's a guy, and... He does not like to take medicine, and he does not like to go to the doctor. And he never talks about, you know, if he says he feels bad, he's like, okay, I'm all right. You know, no, I don't want to take any medicine. No, I don't want to go to the doctor. Well, he went in last night and was telling Mandy that he wanted to go to the doctor today. So she took him to the doctor. So he's got some fluid around his lungs and stuff. And. So they gave him some medicine. So anyway, back in the day, a couple times when I made these, I was thinking that I the wetter that I, that I had a wetter, and then too I like to let them sit for a minute, a few minutes, five minutes, ten, you know, whatever, and get them. Uh, just kind of let it sit and whatever, but um. I don't know. I hope y'all can see this. I'll scoot over this way some more. Um, so it's kind of sticky. If you can see like that. Okay. Hold on just a minute and let me turn you around. Okay. Now we're going to get this to boiling. So I'm turning it up a little bit. And what you want to do is... You're going to cook these for 10 minutes uncovered, um, and then you're going to uh, stir two cups. You're supposed to use two cups of Bisquick mix and two-thirds cup of milk until soft dough forms. Drop by spoonfuls into boiling stew or soup. Reduce heat. Cook uncovered 10 minutes and cover and cook 10 minutes longer. Key. That's key. So we've got it boiling, but not really to my satisfaction. Stir that up a little bit. I already added my pepper and my celery salt. So I didn't add any salt to it. And I still got my carrots in there. Just to add a little bit of flavor and sweetness. And um, so that's going. And then we are going to this try not to be too noisy and then I just take it and just kind of drop them this size in there just drop them in I don't know maybe I I don't know I hope they end up good some of them come out and they're like dough you know um, some most of them are fluffy this probably isn't going to be enough for all this juice. Um, and then some of them are kind of not, some don't turn out all the way. I think when I left them drier, that's what made up. Now that I'm doing this video, they'll probably not turn out right, you know, how that goes. Um, and if it does, then I guess I won't be uploading this video. <laughs> so... You just kind of put that in there around and I'm thinking what I was going to say was if you leave them I don't know we'll see how this works but um because like I said it's been a while since I've cooked them I usually cook them for William I was talking about William and that's how I got sidetracked talking about his illness but he just loves my dumplings and so I always have to make chicken dumplings when he comes but um I didn't the last few times. He also loves Geta, which I'm sure a lot of you don't know what Geta is. You'll just have to Google it. It's kind of like Scrapples, I think. Like I said, I've discussed that in another video. 
nobody commented. I don't think anybody's had scrapples or one of Jan, have you had um do you know what scrapples or getta is? She's a country girl. And then Susie. Uh how about you? I bet she's had I bet she's heard of scrapples because she's down in Virginia. And I think it was down that way that we started seeing scrapples on the menu. Um get a it's like got oats and like pig parts. All right, there we go. I'm gonna let it boil a little bit. Excuse the arm. Set my timer. Ten minutes. We're gonna let this boil, and I'll be back. I'm. Gonna, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this do its thing for 10 minutes without the lid and then I'm going to put the lid on it for 10 minutes and when it's done I will come back and show you what it is okay this is what it looks like Let's see oh gosh oopsie all right so there we go that's what it looks like when it's after the 10 minutes, oh, I'm going to get a little bowl or a saucer here, and I'm going to make some green beans to go with that. Oh, yummy. And my sauce is still a little bit, um, that's what it looks like. Start around a little bit, get some that chicken, but I've not quite done yet, so I just decided at the last minute to put some green beans on. Put some of that sauce over some of those there. All right, then I'm trying to see here got my fork ready and cut that open oh look at that look at that yummy can you see that oh gosh some salt and pepper and taste it well oh, can't get it on there these are a little bit drier than usual but oh yummy yeah, these are really dry. So next time I'm going to have to, um, but by the time you put some sauce on it, it'll be okay. Mmm, yum. So, that's chicken and dumplings at my house. We're going to have some green beans with it. So, that's dinner tonight. Maybe some lunch for David tomorrow. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Have a great day, and thanks for stopping by, and um, hey, don't forget to spread a little sunshine. Bye.